Hey everyone, welcome to the Methadone Diaries. I believe this is number nine. We'll we'll see here in a second when I put the graphic up. But um, I just wanted to make a video. I haven't in a minute, and I feel it's my responsibility to check in. Um, you know, I started making videos for a reason, and um, that was to relate with people and people that might be able to relate with me uh, with their experiences on methadone. Um, and so I felt like it was my responsibility. So I'm on, I, let's see, I just had my two months. I just had my 60 days uh, methadone free, which I think right now I'm like 66 maybe. Uh, I remember the last time I made a video, I said that I wasn't gonna get the shot. And I was pretty determined that I wasn't gonna get it. I was pretty, you know, uh, I, I really thought I was just gonna skip it. And I talked to a few people that uh, I'm close with that know me and know, um, you know, help that can help me make good decisions. And we both came to the conclusion that, you know, one more shot isn't gonna hurt. So I did get the, uh, the, the Vivitrol shot. Uh, my plan is, this is my third shot, including the one that I got in Detroit at uh, Advanced Rapid Detox, which you should check out immediately because they are awesome and Laura is the best. Sorry, uh, shameless plug. Um, no, they saved my life. So I, I got the shot and um, it's been okay. The first couple days, uh, you know, where I was a little fatigued and I was, uh, I was, uh, I just didn't really feel good for those first couple of days. But after that, uh, I mean, as, as, far, as long as I allowed myself to get up and exercise and do the things that I need to do, um, you know, it's not that bad. So, but the plan is, is that this is the last shot that I'm going to get. Um, I think by the end of this month uh, or the end of this, you know, the period of, uh, getting the shot, um, I think it's it, it's a good time to step off of it. You know, I think I think I'll I'll do okay. Um, but we just thought one extra shot wouldn't hurt. So, and just to be quite frank and honest, um, I've had a little bit of a struggle with uh, cross addiction with uh, benzos. Um, uh, have been prescribed Valium and. Um, various different forms and essentially um, there's been some light benzo use and I don't think I'm at a dangerous place. I don't think I'm at a place of, um, you know, where I'm in trouble. I just wanted to be honest about my journey and not bullshit and say that, hey, I'm completely abstinent because I'm not. I mean, I haven't had a drink in 13 years and I haven't, you know, I haven't had an opiate in 66 days, but, um, you know, I'm not abstinent. You know, I, I smoke pot, I, uh, I drink kava and I have been indulging in Valium. I mean, so, I mean, I, I'm not perfect. And, um, you know, I think this helps me saying things out loud like this and trying to connect with you guys helps me address the things I might need to address more. But on the topic of methadone, here's the deal, guys. 66 days off of methadone. My life is 10 times better than it was in terms of my health, in terms of my awareness, in terms of my uh, emotional regulation, in terms of my relationships, in terms of my uh, everything. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not having post-acute withdrawal, because I certainly am. Um, you know, the, the waking up with the leg pain hasn't really stopped yet. Um, and that's, I think, that's psychological, a lot of it is, of that pain. Uh, a loss of the appetite. It's, it's been hard for me to get hungry for things. Um, you know, but uh, most of my post-acute withdrawal is depression and um, uh, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of anxiety things like that, but, um, it's getting better. It, it's at the point now where it actually feels like every day is getting a little better because there was a period there. There was a good chunk there. Like after my, I don't know, 
I, I would say my first four weeks sober, it didn't feel like I was getting better every day. Um, but, um, but now I'm at the point where it does feel like there's a little bit more elevation or noticeable elevation, I guess I should say. But, um, yeah, guys, I, I, I just wanted to check in. Um, I, I'm honest with you guys. I won't lie. I, I, I'm not here to bullshit you. I'm here to share my story. I'm here to share my experiences, uh, good or bad. You know, I'm trying and I'm going to some meetings and, and things like that. And I have a very, very supportive, loving partner who, who just want, wants to, to see me bloom in potential. And, and I think that's honestly with recovery. When you, when you really get down to what the rewards are, it seems like your potential is expanded exponentially, you know? So, um, that's, that's something that's like a reward kind of thing that keeps me a little, you know, wanting to stay more on the straight and narrow, I guess I should say. But, uh, with that guys, I'll let you go. I love you guys. Uh, send comments, questions, uh, next video, happy to answer them. Um, you guys are the best and I'll talk to you later.